pronouns or sai as a paid. Pronouns are words that we use in place of nouns or other pronouns in a sentence to make it less repetitive and less awkward. Some of the most common pronouns are he, she, you, they, it, etc. These pronouns are divided into different categories based on their use. Personal pronouns. These pronouns are used for a specific object or person, and they change their forms to indicate the different genders, numbers, case, and persons speaking. Example, Tanya told him to take the food to them as soon as possible as it was urgently needed. Him is a pronoun of gender. Them is a pronoun of number showing that there is more than one person, and it is also a pronoun of case as it is referring to a specific group in an objective manner. It is also a pronoun of gender showing the object. That demonstrative pronouns, demonstrative pronouns are used to show or identify one or a number of nouns that may be far or near in distance or time. They are only four in number, this, that, these, and those. This and that are singular demonstrative pronouns and these and those are plural demonstrative pronouns. They can also be used to show an unspecified quantity in a sentence. That is a beautiful house. That is a demonstrative pronoun that is referring to a specific noun house. This is a singular pronoun as it is referring to only one house. These were made by me. These is showing an unspecified quantity of something that was made by a person. This is a plural demonstrative pronoun as it's referring to a number of objects. Interrogative pronouns. Who, whom, which, and what are interrogative pronouns as they are used to ask questions about a person or object that we do not know about. Which one would you like mm, here, which is being used to ask someone to make a choice between different things instead of naming every single choice that is available. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to join or relate two different clauses together by referring to the noun in the previous clause using the pronouns who, whom, whose, which, and that. Seeing which and that are generally used for objects, while who and whom are used for people and whose is used to show possession. She will choose the color which looks good on everyone. Here, which is joining the two related clauses about choosing a color and a color which would look good on everyone. Definite pronouns. These pronouns are used to show unspecified objects or people, whether in plural or in singular. They are used to indicate the entire noun or some of the noun or none of the noun. They are used when we want to refer to group of nouns without actually specifying who or how much. Some common indefinite nouns are anyone, someone, none, everything, many, few, etc. If anyone has seen my notebook, please return it to me. Here, we see the pronoun anyone is being used to refer to everyone without any specification. A few of the members were not satisfied with the service. Few means a small number of people hall objects. Hence, it is a plural indefinite pronoun. Nobody was answering when I called them last. Here, we see a pronoun nobody being used to show no one at all. It is a singular indefinite pronoun. Reflexive and intensive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are those which are used to indicate a noun, which has been used in an earlier part of the same sentence. These pronouns are myself, themselves, yourself, ourself, herself, himself, and itself. Rosa was going to take it to the shop but ended up fixing it herself one afternoon. Here, we can see that herself is being used to refer to Rosa again at the end of the sentence. He prefers to be by himself after a game. Here, himself is used to refer to him. Apart from ordering in, they cooked a few snacks themselves. Here, themselves is used to show that they cook something. These same words are also called intensive pronouns, which are used to lay emphasis on the pronoun that comes before them in the sentence. They themselves knew that the prank was in bad taste. Here, the pronoun themselves is used to emphasize and avoid reporting things that you yourself haven't witnessed. Hmm. Here, yourself is used to emphasize the pronoun you. Reciprocal pronoun. There are just two reciprocal pronouns, each other and one another. They are used when two or more nouns are doing or being the same to one another. Both of these pronouns are plural in nature as they can only be used in situations where there is more than one noun. Jamie and Jack always sit beside each other in break. Here. The reciprocation is between the children as they both sit together. Thank you, everyone.